how to create custom 301 redirects on Shopify. If that's what you're looking to do, then you have made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through the easy breezy process of setting up custom URL redirects for your Shopify website. So I actually have videos that talk about 301 redirects, but specifically for WordPress users. I have a video for Squarespace users, but I've been getting a lot more e-commerce SEO clients. And so I was like, hmm, why don't I just create a video on YouTube for you guys using Shopify so that you can start to create your own 301 redirects? All right, let's just get into it. Okay, so before we get too deep into the sauce here, I kind of just want to explain what is a 301 redirect. Essentially, there's two main types of redirects that people talk about. There's a 301 and a 302. The 302 redirect is a temporary redirect. It's basically like, hey, browser, for just a little bit, if somebody goes to this URL, redirect them to this new URL, but it's not permanent, okay? We're only, we only want this redirect to hang out for a little bit. It's not a permanent thing. The 301 redirect, on the other hand, it's a permanent redirection, okay? So it's basically telling the browser, hey, this old URL, it doesn't exist anymore. So anybody that goes to this old URL, actually, I want you to send them to this new URL. So we set up redirects so that we can prevent broken links from accumulating on our website, okay? It also comes in handy if you're moving from platform to platform, like let's say you're moving from WordPress or Squarespace over to Shopify, you might notice that the URLs uh, for collections or for your blog posts or whatever, the URL structure can sometimes change when you're moving platforms. That is where 301 redirects come in handy, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys how to set them up really quick. Shopify makes it so easy. So in the left-hand menu here, click on online store and then click on navigation. And then in the right-hand corner, which honestly, it's a little hidden. Why is it this hidden? I'm not sure but view URL redirects. Click on this and you will be taken to your URL redirect page, okay? It's gonna have a full list of all of your URL redirects, but if you're watching this video, you probably don't have any because you don't know how to create them. So in order to create a 301 URL redirect, hit this green button up in the top right-hand corner and you'll be taken to this page here. So on this page, we have the redirect from and the redirect to. The redirect from is the old URL. It's the URL that you're like, listen, Shopify, browser, whatever. If anybody goes to this URL, this actually doesn't exist anymore. Instead, redirect them over to this new URL, which is the redirect to URL, okay? So I know as I'm saying it, it might sound a little confusing. It's actually pretty simple. So as you can see here, the example, it shows a relative URL. So it doesn't show the domain name in here. So I just wanted to make note that you can put the full domain name in here if that feels good for you, or you can just put the relative URL in here, which is basically everything after your main domain name, including this backslash. So you can put the full URL or this relative URL, okay? So same exact thing down here. You can either do the full URL or you can do the relative URL. So basically an example of this might be like, I don't know, I'm moving from WordPress over to Shopify. Maybe WordPress didn't have collections in the URL, but Shopify does. So maybe I have to create a redirect, taking them from this old URL, like nothing lives there anymore because now your website's on Shopify and they add collections into the URL. So it's like, we gotta move everybody from that old collection URL to this new collection URL, okay? 
So go ahead and click save that redirect and basically you're good to go. But I will say you should go and test this, okay? Like everything, like always, sometimes there's funky chicken stuff with technology. So it's like if you're setting up a redirect, make sure that it works properly. So obviously I'm not saving this redirect because this is actually like a client's website, but I would go and I would copy this and I would paste it up here without a double backslash and just make sure, like obviously I didn't save that redirect, but I would make sure that I didn't get this page. If you see a page not found, this is a 404 error page. That means that your redirect did not work. Maybe you put in, maybe you forgot the slash, maybe you forgot something in the URL, something. So just make sure that when you put in this old URL, that when you enter it into the browser, that it redirects to that new URL that you wanted to go. Always test it, okay? But I will say Shopify makes this pretty, pretty easy here. And so when you're adding, here, let me leave this page. Let's say, I don't know, you want to change a URL of a product because you are working with an SEO strategist like myself. And maybe we told you that your URL is an SEO friendly and we need to update it. So what Shopify does, it makes it super easy. It's the same thing for both products and collections. So I'm just going to show collections just because there's less to choose from here. So when you're editing the collection or editing the product, click down here at search engine listing, click edit, and you'll be able to change the URL handle, okay? So let's say that we wanted to target a different keyword here. Maybe we wanted to target shop, I don't know, everyday modern wreaths or something, okay? I don't, but if I did, Shopify actually will automatically ask you if you want it to create a URL redirect for you, okay? So this is, oh shoot, well also make sure that you only have one dash in here and not two. So you can leave this checked and if you leave this checked, it will show up back in this navigation view URL redirects, okay? It will show up in this section. This is actually how I created these for the client of like her old collection name was slash shop dash Christmas. We wanted to make it a little bit more SEO friendly. So we did shop dash Christmas dash wreaths, okay? So just know that if you're doing that from the product or the collection end, that they should show up here in this database. You can come in here and double check to make sure that it got added here. Usually Shopify is really good at that, but this is awesome for making sure that your website doesn't accumulate a bunch of broken links and not so great 404 errors on the page. So that's basically it when it comes to setting up 301 redirects. I told you, Shopify makes it super easy. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. It really does mean a lot. It helps the YouTube algorithm kind of show my videos to more people. And if you have a Shopify website, comment below and let me know because I don't really honestly have a lot of tutorials for Shopify websites. So if you're an e-commerce shop, you're using Shopify, make sure that you comment below and let me know so that I can create more tutorials, especially for you guys. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.